The Michigan Republican Party is facing bipartisan backlash after comparing recently passed restrictions on guns to the Holocaust in social media posts on Wednesday. In a tweet, the state party wrote, history has shown us that the first thing a government does when it wants total control over its people is to disarm them. President Reagan once stated, if we lose freedom here, there is nowhere else to escape to. This is the last stand on earth. The text on the photo says, before they collected all these wedding rings, they collected all the guns. The photograph in the tweet is a box of wedding rings that were removed by the Nazis from Holocaust victims. In its Facebook post, the party added that no good can come from a disarmed population. The posts, just sickening, come as the Michigan Senate recently passed a gun reform package that includes red flag laws, safe storage requirements, and universal background checks in light of the mass shootings at Michigan State University and Oxford High School. Michigan Congresswoman and Senate candidate Alyssa Slotkin condemned the tweet and called for the Michigan GOP to delete it, writing in part, comparing gun safety measures to the mass extermination of six million people is hateful and ignorant. And it comes from party leaders who are out of ideas and catering to the fringe of the fringe. Matt Brooks of the Washington-based Republican Jewish Coalition calls the posts absolutely inappropriate and offensive and said they should be removed immediately. In response to the backlash, the head of the Michigan GOP, an election denier, and a failed Secretary of State candidate stood by the posts, writing in a statement that reads in part, our Second Amendment was put in place to protect us from aspiring tyrants. Michigan GOP stands by our statement. Michael Steele, there are no <laughs> words, except no. that the danger of Trumpism and right-wing extremism and conspiracy theorists and downright racists are, it, it's still so real, it, it's palpable. It is, and, and it is metastasized in, in the Michigan party, which has been sort of, you know, bat you know what crazy for a while now. And it's culminated in the election of this chairwoman who uh, clearly um, is tone deaf, not just to the politics here, God. but the historical, uh, you know, inference that that you're making by comparing uh, this particular battle over gun rights to the Holocaust, and it, it just it really speaks to how in, to, to to what you've said about how the this catering to this hard right. It, it's even. It's even more than that. It's just a complete dissent, uh, being desensitized to uh, the the feelings, the the impact, the how people are are perceiving what you're doing. They don't care. They don't care that you're upset by this. In fact, that they they're sort of animated by the fact that we've you know we've tweaked you a little bit and and made you um, uh, uh, nervous or concerned. Um, there are broader implications here about what it means for the party, for sure. But you're going to see these types of examples, uh, Mika, um, as more and more of the MAGA wing of the party takes hold and cements in their control of state party organizations, which goes back to a strategy uh, from 2016, 2017, uh, it would, as Trumpism began to rise, that's always been a part of the plan. Um, so there's more of this to come. We see it play out in other places like Arizona in, in election uh, battles. Um, it's also going on inside the structure of the party itself. And the fact that the chairwoman can't find a brain cell to recognize that all the screaming and shouting from her fellow Republicans, by the way, um, on something like this uh, should tell her uh, that she's in the wrong lane. But she doesn't care because that right wing base is what she's got to feed. Except Mika and Michael alluded to this. There are the politics of this, too. Let's remember, it was just a few months ago 
that Democrats swept through the midterm elections, that swept through the governor's race, winning by Gretchen Whitmer, winning by double digits because of an extreme candidate that took back the legislature for the first time in almost 40 years in Michigan. Democrats now control Michigan because of the very extremism that the party in Michigan seems to be leaning right into with this tweet. Yeah, and it's not just Michigan. In Arizona, Carrie Lake is still complaining that her loss isn't real and making people pray for her or put her in office somehow. It's crazy, and it's very real, and it's very dangerous. Coming. 